Saved by the Bell Q&A with RPW is here again. So if you don't know or are not familiar with the Q&A with RPW, I will be doing these monthly. So be sure to get your questions in before next month's Q&A with me. Now, if there's any specific questions you have right now that you'd like to get in for next month's video, be sure to put that in the comment section below and I'll be sure to put you in for the questions. Now, I do not share names because I don't know if somebody wants this to be personal, you know, private or whatever. So let's get on with the first question. War Dragons Nerds isn't showing up on Google search. Okay, so first of all, you're not going to find it on Google search. You have to go into the search bar of your Facebook. So if you go into your Facebook app, you're going to go into the top and search War Dragons Nerds. Now, remember, it's all together one word. And this is where you're going to find it. And if you go in, you can actually add or request to join. I wish that you could join automatically, but because it's a group, they make us accept you. So everybody get in there and request to join. Okay, so our next question of the day is going to be, which green slash gold dragon should I target for the breeding? Okay, guys, so this is a little trickier. I'm going to go ahead and speed up my breeding castle here so that we can actually go in and look at these. Um, otherwise I can't access them right now. So if we go in here, you're going to see they're wanting to know about the gold and the green dragons. Now, I don't know what you have specifically right now. So that all depends on what you have versus what your goal is. Now, me specifically, I believe your goal is to, of course, breed your legendary dragons because they're going to help you in future. Okra, for example, is, a, you know, a special dragon, but... You know, you're going to want to definitely work on um, Danzig, Munin, Huggin, etc. Now, during this particular time frame, you're going to find XP starts to get a little more challenging to build up one. Uh, same for the, gold, um, for the gold. You're going to want to do Consurgens and all of them. Uh, so really, the trick question here, I mean, it's a trick answer. You want to breed all of them. There really isn't much you want to breed. But as I've said numerous times before, I really can't give you this kind of information because I don't know what you have. But the best thing you can do is go to Red's Breeding Path, and I will share the um, link to her path in the description below in this video so that you can go see, you know, what she has here. So, for example, um, Gasper and Garzev is going to be your first two green dragons you're going to want to work towards, according to her guide. And then Bander and your Sinew will be your first set of gold dragons you're going to want to work towards. So yes, my answer for this is, I don't really know what the answer is for you specifically. Everyone is gonna have a different answer. So be sure to start with a breeding path or jump into one. All right guys, so let's move on to the next question. What is the best strategy for gaining XP points? Now I did a video on this, but it was a few months ago probably, so I am planning to do a new one on this. Now, the basic rule of thumb when it comes to strategy for gaining XP points. Well, it depends. If you have an alternate account or someone that's willing to constantly help you with XPs, then of course, one of the great strategies is using the base free XP. However, one of the easiest strategies is to follow your teammates, okay? Put some small dragons in there if you're trying to build up XP and whenever you see a teammate going in for an attack, a larger teammate, join their attack put XP in there and ask them if you can join. However, remember to bring something with death gaze in case they need your help in return. Yes, this might not get you the XP that you need because you couldn't take in the dragon you wanted, but you know, once every once in a while, that's gonna actually help your, you know, your fellow teammate out. So be sure to put XP before they um, finish out the base, of course. And then if you go with the last little bit, you're good. The second way is you can ask fellow um, teammates that are similar size or larger to help you finish out a base. Now, it's a lot to ask another player to do this for you all the time. So, you know, try not to go overboard on that and ask, you know, several times a day, but maybe have you an XP buddy that's just as needy for XP and you guys can back each other. It's very, very helpful. Otherwise, there might be someone on your team that has a level one Ember that would be willing to help you, or maybe your team would let you bring in an alternate account if you have a second device that you can do that with. All right, the next question. If you help someone else on their attacks, will you also get five flames, or the flames, I should say, for, towards your wildfire attack? Now, I hope that question has been answered since we've 
been doing the wildfire attack, but that answer is no. When you help another player, granted, it's going to show you got five flames whenever it comes to the, you know, the finish of the attack, but that goes to the player that set the attack, not to you. Yes, you guys will split XP. If it's a regular attack, of course, you would be splitting the resources, but you would always get, you know, a fraction smaller. So, no, the flames do not count towards your own wildfire attack. However, if they follow you, same thing. You would get the flames, but they would not. Now, the next question was, do you have a video on how to fly sorcerer dragons? Now, I do not have a video on this, but I am thinking that maybe I could do a series on how to fly dragons. So we'll have a four-part series once again. It'll probably come um, once, sometime after the new event begins. And I will likely do this as a collaboration video with somebody else off of YouTube you guys will recognize the name of. Um, but it'll probably be a four-part series where how do you fly dragons and then go off to specific, the sorcerer, the hunter, and the warrior. Now, I'm really great with sorcerers, so I can definitely do a video on that. And then warriors was my first go-to dragons, so of course I can definitely help you on that as well. Hunters, I'm still trying to get the hang of, so I will probably reach out to a buddy, you probably know of him, which leads me to my next question. Oh, will you and Skyline WD do another video together in the future? Well, I hope so, and if he's watching this video, then you can consider this a formal request. I thought it'd be really cool to have him help me out and collaborate with that video on how to fly hunter dragons. So be sure to check back um, when we start this series, I'll let you know, and then he will be a cool special guest, I think, to have back on the show. I'll likely reach out to a few guests <clears throat> to show us how they fly their specific favorite type of dragon. <clears throat> For example, we also have um, a few other guests that we've had on our show that are willing to chit chat and you know, put out a conversation, including Ghost Rider. So I will reach out and then maybe um, Air Force would be willing to do a neat little video real quick, but I know he's not one for talking, so I'm not for sure how that would work out, but we'll see what we can come up with and hopefully that'll help you guys out with how to fly specific dragons. Okay, so the next question, or I guess you could call it a statement in a way, is I thought you weren't doing breeding guides. Well, you thought right, because I'm not into breeding guides. I'm not saying that I'm not into utilizing them, but I'm not creating them. So don't confuse my video as <laughs> saying that I do breeding guides. No, I specifically like to help people in events teach people how to, you know, best score in events, and then also to show them where to go to find information. So anytime it, someone has a question about a breeding guide or whatever, I'm going to send them the direction they need to go. But that does not mean by any means that I am into breeding guides, nor will I ever be, to be honest with you. I don't think that's something that's in my future. All right, so the last question was, you know, I have an epic dragon, but how do I get a legendary? So you must be a pretty young player in this game. So your epic dragons, your rare dragons, and your legendary dragons are all gonna be right here in your breeding castle. So every time you need to unlock a legendary dragon, you're gonna have to breed it. Now, most usually a legendary dragon, from what I've noticed, breeds a legendary dragon. I don't know if that's 100% of the time, but if you're not unlocking legendary dragons and let's say you're like, for example, up in green, but the orange before has still yet to find any legendaries, then you're missing out on some of your breeding. So be sure to go back into your roster and check. But technically it's the same way you get epics. You simply breed them. If you don't know what to breed, check out Red's breeding guide or Superman's, but those should help you out. Okay guys. So that is it for the Q&A for this month. I hope to see everybody again next month. And, you know, I don't know if there will be a lot more questions, but I would love to have a lot of questions for the next video just because I think it'll make this video a lot more fun and engaging. That's the whole reason why I've waited so long is because the amount of questions that come in are not that often. So be sure to put in the comment section below of any of my videos if you would like to be a part of the Q&A. You can even put hashtag Q&A if you would like. Now, that is it for today's video. Before you leave, don't forget if you liked my video to support me by giving me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and of course, hit that bell for notifications. All right, happy hunting.